What is common between this and this? Shubaki, this is a very big deal in India right now. And I'm going to explain a few of the connections between petrol and sugarcane in this video. First up, a lot of petrol that we buy in India is blended with ethanol. Ethanol is a biofuel and this is where the sugarcane comes in. Many of you might have forgotten high school chemistry, so a quick recap. Sugarcane molasses can be fermented. This can be done using yeasts or through a chemical process. The product that you get after this is ethanol. Unless you buy premium petrol, chances are that it is blended with ethanol. But why is India doing this? And why is the government pushing for it? By the way, there is even a deadline that the government wants to meet. 20% ethanol blend by 2025. Before I get into this, remember to subscribe to Deccan Hellard's YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to never miss a new release. You can also follow us on all our social media handles. And now, back to the video. To understand what's going on, we must look at some basics. India is largely an agricultural nation. We are also the world's second largest sugarcane producer. With so much sugarcane lying around, a plan surfaced back in 2003 to turn it into ethanol. This biofuel can also be produced from rice, maize and corn among others. But the question really is, why is there a need to blend petrol with ethanol? Here's the second connection. India imports 85% of its crude oil. In 2020-2021, India's net import of petroleum was 185 metric tons at a cost of $551 billion. This is a huge expense for the country. Now, what if we could cut down our import of crude oil and save ourselves some money? Ethanol blending might help us achieve this. The blending will reduce the mix of petrol in your fuel as a consequence, it can also reduce the expensive crude oil imports and enhance the country's energy security. The ethanol blended petrol or EBP is also a less polluting fuel, which reduces carbon emissions from the vehicle. India started selling ethanol blended petrol in 2003. Back then, the petrol sold in India contained just 1% of ethanol. In 2013-14, the proportion of ethanol mixed with petrol slowly climbed to 1.5%. In 2019-2020, this increased to 5% and then in the next two years, up until 2022, the amount of ethanol blended in the petrol that you and I currently buy shot up to 10%. That's quite a jump. There's a reason for this jump. In 2020, the current government set itself a target. It decided to achieve 10% ethanol mix by 2022 and 20% mix by 2025. आज भारत ने पेट्रोल में 10 प्रतिशत इथेनॉल ब्लेंडिंग के लक्ष्य को प्राप्त कर लिया है कि भारत इस लक्ष्य पर तय समय से 5 महीने पहले पहुंच गया है ये देश के किसानों को इथेनॉल ब्लेंडिंग ब्लेंडिंग बढ़ने के वजह से 8 वर्षों में 40,000 करोड़ रुपये से भी ज़्यादा आए हुई हैं। In 2021, nearly 350 crore liters of ethanol was supplied by sugar mills and grain-based distilleries to OMCs. As the 2025 deadline gets closer, the demand for sugarcane is going to increase. This benefits sugarcane farmers. Remember the sugar stocks we saw at the start of this video? They are all doing well. Now you know why. Despite the fact that this sounds like a success story, there are some red flags. First, in order to meet the 2025 target, Niti Aayog says that India needs more than 1000 crore litres of ethanol. Right now, India produces just 426 crore litres. To meet this target, India needs an additional 60 lakh metric tons of sugar. One of the things that India could see in the near future is more farmers switching to sugarcane who would have normally grown other crops. I think the next angle which comes in, that if we look for uh, uh, big targets like E20, uh, we will need to, uh, you know, significantly or massively up our production uh, again. And for that purpose, we'll, we'll, we, you know, we need more arable land, land and definitely 
more uh, you know water will be required so from that perspective uh, the uh, the more the more focus the mainstreaming of e20 has been already uh, you know always been challenged by uh, different industry participants and they are they are of thought that why we are uh, emphasizing on uh, uh, so much because uh, you know in in, uh, in in our way to achieve in energy security we might risk our food security here's the second red flag sugarcane is a water guzzling crop and to produce 1 liter of ethanol from sugar about 2860 liters of water is required most sugarcane cultivation in india is in water deficit regions the 2025 target might place severe stress on these regions and this is also a reason why many industry experts believe that the target of 20% ethanol blending by 2025 is difficult to achieve the third red flag global commodity insights firm snp plats had this to say lifting the biofuel blending rate with petrol from the current 10% to 20% in such a short span of time may be possible only in certain pockets of the country but not across entire country the note also points to another significant issue to achieve this target india might have to start importing sugar remember we are the world's second largest producer of sugar currently if the country starts to import sugar well we are still spending money on imports which defeats the purpose of this entire exercise and don't forget none of the petrol vehicles that are currently available can run on e20 fuel what will happen to them and are automakers ready for the challenge of designing new engines will the target of e20 in 2025 make it cheaper for you to own and run your vehicle we answer all this in our next video so stay tuned till then goodbye and don't forget to subscribe to tech and herald Thank you.